Hello students, you are welcome to lecture series on SOS 314 Introduction to Soil Pedology and Physics Study Session 1 The topic we are going to be treating is Origin of Soil Introduction The soil is at the interface between the atmosphere and lithosphere it also has an interface with the hydrosphere, that is the sphere describing surface water, groundwater, and oceans. The soil sustains the growth of many plants and animals and so forms part of the biosphere. A combination of physical, chemical, and biotic forces act on organic and weathered rock fragments to produce soils with a porous fabrics that contains water and air. We consider soil as a natural body of mineral and organic material that is formed in response to many environmental factors and processes acting on and changing soil permanently. Learning outcomes for this study session. When you have studied this session, you should be able to Describe soil, that is its origins and formation. And lastly, explain the origin of soil. Soil, its origins and formation. Soils are a mixture of different things, rocks, minerals, and dead or decaying plants and animals. So it can be very different from one location to another, but generally consists of organic and inorganic materials, water and air. The inorganic materials are the rocks that have been broken down into smaller pieces, while the organic material is decaying living matter. This could be plants or animals that have died and decayed until they become part of the soil origin of soil. The development of soil is initiated by the physical and chemical disintegration of rocks that is exposed to the earth's surface that is under the action of the atmospheric elements and the action of water percolating down the surface. The basic result of weathering is the weakening and breakdown of solid rock the fragmentation of coherent rock masses forming regolith. Normally, regolith has a crude gradation of particle sizes with the largest and least fragmented pieces at the bottom. Usually, above the regolith lies the soil. Soil normally consists of an abundance of living plant roots, a variety of dead and rotten plant parts in varying stages of decomposition an unbelievable quantity of microscopic plants and animals, both living and dead, and variable amount of air and water. Thus, soils are formed from hard rock masses, loose on consolidated transported materials and organic residue. The weathering of rock masses forms the hard loose materials such as stones, gravels, sand, silt, clay, and soluble ions. The term soil is derived from the Latin word sulum. According to soil scientists, soil means that part of the earth crust that has been changed as a result of soil forming processes. As such, soils can be defined in a number of ways depending on the type of study it relates with. The two most common and simple definitions of soil are as follows. One, it is derived as the consolidated mineral material as the immediate surface of the earth that serves as a natural medium for the growth of plants 
and secondly it is a body subjected to a natural and historical development which came into being on the surface of the earth as a result of a complex combination of the interaction of rocks the organic micro and macro organisms flora and fauna climate local relief and the production activities of man we have come to the end of the lecture. Thanks for listening.